The president and vice president canceled their public events for the day, and the House of Representatives, stunned by the attack on its own members, halted proceedings. We may have our differences, but we do well in times like these to remember that everyone who serves in our nation's capital is here because, above all, they love our country. The congressman and others, many wearing shirts with the word Republican on the front, were holding their final practice before Thursday's annual congressional baseball game, a tradition stretching back more than a century. I looked up at one point and saw the gunman um, he'd come around the back near home plate and had a clear line of sight into the dugout. Steve Scalise was laying motionless on the field. He dragged himself off of the infield into the outfield, a trail of blood where he went. Witnesses say they heard dozens of shots and the security detail at the field returned fire. The only reason that those law enforcement officers were on the scene was to protect Congressman Steve Scalise because he is a leader in Congress. Otherwise, the casualty toll likely would have been much higher. They are heroes because they saved our lives, because no one would have had any way to stop this shooter with this weapon that he had, but for the fact that they returned fire and two of them were injured uh, saving our lives. So they are heroes. The gunman, who was shot by police and later died, is identified as James Hodgkinson. He had posted comments on social media that it was time to destroy Trump and company. In a nation deeply divided politically, the apparent targeting of members of Congress is likely to further inflame the debate over guns. That happened almost immediately near the scene of Wednesday's shooting. I have long advocated, uh, this is not what today is about, but there are too many guns on the street. Steve Herman, VOA News, Alexandria, Virginia.